In this tutorial, I'm going to show you briefly how to create a Google spreadsheet, uh, how to share it with somebody if you would like, but then I'm also going to show you how to take that spreadsheet and use Quizlet to help make flashcards uh, for your students, and then how to take those flashcards and embed them into your wiki. So to begin with, you have to create a Google spreadsheet. Uh, when you go to create, you select spreadsheet. When this spreadsheet pops up, it's going to look remarkably like Microsoft Excel. Obviously, it has some differences. Uh, what you want to remember when using Google Spreadsheets with Quizlet is that you only want to create two columns. Uh, I've already created one, uh, and I've got some in my history classes that I teach. Uh, pretty much, it's, it's the terms and the definitions of the names and the definitions uh, in each column. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to title my document. We're just going to put test spreadsheet. And there the name appears. And in here, I normally I would just type in my content one by one. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and paste um, these words and terms in. Of course, you can manipulate this in many different ways. So here you see I have several terms or questions and definitions. Uh, now the question is, once you have this, how do you get it into Quizlet? But before we get there, let's remind ourselves that to share any Google app, um, you go to the share button and then just simply enter their email address and then share and save. And of course, as you remember, uh, you can have them just view it, uh, comment, or they can edit it, which means they can make changes to it. Uh, which is great in collaborative projects, especially when I have a group of students, say, working on vocabulary terms together. Um, when you're done, you click Share and Save. I'm not going to do that at this point, but you get the idea. Now, once you get your content in to your Google spreadsheet, um, the first thing you want to do is highlight and copy those terms. So you highlight the, the, the two columns by clicking. Let me show you again. You click on the first click and drag. And I went too far. And there it is. And then you hit Control C. Control C is copy. Now you go to Quizlet.com and you log in. If you do not have a Quizlet account, it's very simple. Go to Quizlet.com. Uh, follow the steps. You're going to create a username, a password, and a valid email address because it sends you a confirmation email as to whether you're a real person or not. Once you're into Quizlet, you see at the top uh, some choices. My sets, your sets, these are all my cards that I have created from various chapters from World War II to Ronald Reagan. Um, when you're ready to create a new one, you click on the Create tab. Here, and this is where you're going to title it. We're just going to put test spreadsheet. Uh, and you can add a description if you want. Um, the most important button, though, is right here where it says import data. Now, when you click on this, it's going to open up a copy and paste data box. Uh, in this box, you want to paste what you just copied from your spreadsheet, this right here into this box. You can control V is paste. But notice it looks like a very big jumbled mess. But the cool thing is uh, that the default of this program will rearrange this into very neat flashcards for us. Uh, and then you click import. Now you notice down here, and you can see the page we're on, there's our title, test spreadsheet. Uh, and all of a sudden, my terms and definitions have been rearranged into very neat rows. See that? Now, if you do want to change some of these, if you don't like them, uh, you can always hit the X button, and it deletes that particular question. If you want to move that question up or down, you just simply click and drag that one down. So if I go through this list and I see some questions I don't like, didn't answer, I want to remove for whatever reason, there you go. Now, 
once you've got it where it's the questions are exactly the way you want them, it does ask you to choose a language, which for you language arts teachers is going to be fantastic. They have many to choose from. Um, English on both for this. And the reason they ask you this is because there's actually a way for them to, at the program, to say the word out loud and the definition for you. It's pretty neat. Now, once you have selected, you've titled it, you've imported the data, you've chosen English, you've gone through, or whatever language you want, and you've gone through and checked your questions, at the very bottom, it says create set. And now, here is your spreadsheet. I mean, your test spreadsheet collection right here. Now, the real question is, how do I get it from here, say, into a, a wiki page? Now, once you have your test spreadsheet completed um, here in your Quizlet, uh, you're going to go down here to where it says Embed and click it. Now, once you have Embed, five options are going to appear. But the one you want to pay the most, in fact, all of your attention to for now, is flashcards. You are going to copy that code. And now you're going to go into your wiki where you want to place it. So I picked this page, which is all about Google Apps. And I decided I want to put it here. My cursor is here. I go to the widget, embed widget button. But there's nothing here that says embed a spreadsheet or Quizlet. So I'm going to just simply go to other. And in this box, I'm going to paste that very code and click Save. Now, once your widget is here, when you click on any widget, no matter if it's a YouTube video or this one here, which is actually the Quizlet, you can center it. Um, you can make it bigger or smaller. There's a few options here that you can do. When you're done on your wiki, you click Save. And if you scroll down, and when you scroll down and you look at your bottom of your page where you had planted it, embedded it rather, uh, you can see here are your questions and your flashcards. Now, within Quizlet itself, uh, you can choose some options here. It says both sides. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you, you can click on the card. You can do the term first and then click on it and then get the answer and go to the next one and then get the answer and so on and so forth or you can simply just do both sides. It's up to you. Uh, you have other study modes to, to learn from. Um, the learn mode asks you to type in the answer. That's actually pretty interesting. There's a, there's a bunch of different features. I personally find the flashcards to be um, the most interesting. Now, the enable audio, this is where you chose your, your language, is actually pretty interesting. If I were to play this, let's see if you can hear it. Demographics. Demographics are the statistics that describe a population, such as data on race on income. And you can see it even says it for you, uh, which has all kinds of applications, as you can imagine. And that is how you create, share um, a spreadsheet and embed it uh, as a Quizlet into a wiki page.